Welcome to this course on using fiber mesh in ZBrush. So during this course, I'm gonna start off by showing you all of the tools within the fiber mesh palette itself. I'm also gonna show you about techniques for actually masking and setting out polygroups for producing fiber meshes like this and also on how to render it out. Now we're gonna start with a simple sphere and then we're gonna move on to the actual subject matter itself, which is a Jon Snow lightness sculpt that I did for another course. So we're gonna be going through all the procedures. I'll be going through all of the modifiers within the fiber mesh palette as well, as well as the BPR settings. So we've got lots of uh, modifiers within the uh, fiber mesh palette to change the way that the fibers work and respond so we'll be going through all those and I'll be showing you how they all kind of work in conjunction with the poly groups that we've already got set up on our model and of course the BPR settings for rendering it out so once we've gone through all the basics and I've shown you lots of the grooming brushes in here and how they can help you as well as some of the standard brushes, we'll then move on to our main subject where we'll be creating two totally different hairstyles to try and give you an all-rounded view of how fiber mesh works inside of ZBrush for R8. So the first subject that we're gonna do, or the first hairstyle we're gonna do is gonna be this. And you'll see in here that we've also done the eyebrows, the eyelashes, yeah, and the beard itself. So you can see all that. These are all produced in fiber mesh. Uh, you can see I've got poly groups turned on there to show you that this is actually, the hairstyle itself is broken into separate poly groups for easily being able to modify the sections as well as the fur that I've done here. Now I've used a couple of layers with the fur to build up uh, a different style or a different look um, on top and you can see I can turn all of those off so they're all independently controlled. Yeah. So this will be the first hairstyle we do. If I just do a quick render of that, you've obviously seen the course image so you can see the final result we'll get with this kind of look. So this style is actually quite complex. When you have any kind of curls going through hair, it adds a, another level of complexity to actually the hairstyle. But um, by breaking the hair up into different polygroup sets, we can manipulate those hairs and use a few uh, sort of custom brushes to, or select brushes to actually achieve the effect we want to now with this course what i wanted to do is i wanted to jump around a bit so you get a, a broad spectrum of the different types of uh, hairstyle or fur or, that you're doing for a project and it'll be better for you and that's the reason why i did this kind of um fur on the outside the big chunky fur and then we did the hair with the nice curls in with of course like beard um eyebrows uh, eyelashes and of course, uh, jumping on to the next part of the course, which was to do a completely different uh, hairstyle, was to feature more straight hair. So close cut hair and, um, and a mohawk as well. But with this second hairstyle that I'm about to show you in a second, we take things to a different level by adding more complexity into it by actually using masking techniques to control our fibers or where our fibers extrude from in the masking itself. So it brings another level and I think it kind of covers everything you need to know in fiber mesh uh, actually inside of ZBrush itself. Now, I do touch on very lightly the the fact that you can take fibers and you can actually create them as curves. These curves can then be exported to another program such as Maya or 3D Max. And then from those curves, you can generate hair sets. 
uh, it's another way of producing that. So you can actually use ZBrush to produce the uh, control curves for other applications and other hair sets. So when you look at it in that way, it becomes incredibly powerful. Now I know that uh, you know our fibers, our fiber mesh is purely uh, rendered inside of ZBrush, but you can still do other things. You can you can export say um, a games ready hair set by creating the fiber mesh as actual panels that you can put hair textures on and I do cover that a little bit about I show you how to put texture onto a hair and I show you that for the fur section so I've tried to give you a broad range here there's a you know obviously there's a lot more that you can do if you want to but these basic things I'm giving you here basic they're they're advanced actually some of them then you do actually have the ability to be able to do anything you like now when you start to look at things like braiding hair and very very select kind of stylized hairstyles then um, you have to think about it a little bit more and you might have to use a few techniques but I'm hoping that the tools I'm giving you here in this course will actually let you achieve what you dream of doing okay and that's the main thing about this course to give you an overview and to show you all of the little techniques and uh, tricks that we can do to actually produce really good hair sets so here is the render here as you can see this fur is quite a bit more chunky and uh, you've got some nice little curls and things going in here actually um, I think I've got one of the hair sets turned off because there's a few more little um, little curls going on in here but never mind so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the next hairstyle that we're going to do. So this is the first main one, okay? And we're going to jump in and we're going to load up the next hair set. So here we have the next hair set. So quite a bit different. And uh, what I did, I did some modifications to the face just to give him a, a jaw a little bit. And I gave him a, a the beard is a much, much bigger here. But if you look closely on the side of the head here, we have a design put in there do you see that and we've created that inside of we've actually done a texture inside of Photoshop and then we've used that to drive our fibers out of it using um, the alphas so if I just do a quick render of this you'll see the effect we're gonna get okay and again, like I said, this is building on what we've already learned. This hairstyle um, is actually really quick and easy to do. There's uh, just a little bit of turbulence, you know, the longer hair. There's basically two sets. There's the mohawk set, polygroup, and then there's a side of the head, which is a mirror on the other side. And the beard was quickly extruded and, um, well, actually, actually the beard was created and then I just added uh, longer hairs to the front. So it was actually really quick to do this one the curly hair took a lot lot longer but uh, you'll see why when you take the course um, so you can get this really good effect on the side really quickly and it looks like you spent hours doing it you know whereas it was uh, a few minutes really yeah apologies for the ear here this uh, model was never the ear was never supposed to be seen fully so um, because it was obviously the one with the hair going over the top of the ears so you wouldn't really see it um, with this one I've had to expose the ears because of the short hair on the side so you might want to go in and just um, touch that up or use your own base which would be even better so there we have it now you can see really in detail that we've got all that kind of hair going through there so it looks like it's kind of been cut out and uh, you know it's actually really simple to do but you get a really good effect so like I said in this course we will be doing a ton of different things with fiber mesh we'll be working be showing you through all of the tools and we'll be using a simple sphere to just demo some of the mod the modifiers inside of the fiber mesh then we'll be working on the first hair set where we'll go through and create the eyebrows eyelashes and the beard and of course the fur and then move on to the hair itself by creating multiple polygroups and uh, modifying the hair sets as we go through. Then we'll move on to this hairstyle too where I show you about using alphas to drive some of the fibers and creating a simple mohawk as well as extending the beard. I also show you how I modify the face as well, although it's only a quick part of the lesson, it's not really um, 
part of the course itself i just thought i'd include it in there so i really hope you enjoy this course and you get a lot from it uh it's quite exciting it means that you can create all sorts of things animals put fur on them you know chairs uh carpets whatever you like um you can do all this with fiber mesh so hope to see you in the course and yeah i hope you and also like if you if you get a lot of um you know you think this course is really good write a review i'd love to have a re review from you guys all right see you in the course mm -hmm.